Is anything the matter, Mr. Baza? I... I suddenly feel not at all well. I think I will lie down here in the van. Should I get Madeline? No, no, please. I'll just stay here and take a little rest. Are you sure? I don't think Madeline would mind at all driving you back to the hotel. No. I only need a few moments to close my eyes. Thank you, Miss Nakamura. Chateau de Sera. The vineyard and house were built on the foundations of a much older estate linked to the Templars. More importantly, I have arranged for us to have lunch here and perhaps to taste some wine. It's about time. Right, Victoria? It sounds like just a detain. This way. Are you coming, Grace? Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah, in a minute. I just want to look around first. Okay. I'll see you inside. That's a big garage for Europe. Most of them can barely fit a Peugeot. There's a sign on the wine tasting barn. Uh -huh. It says Chateau de Serra's Winery, Monsieur Excelsior Montro, owner and vineyard master? And tasting and sales, I think. Is Monsieur Montreux not joining us? Not that I know of, Mademoiselle, but I'll let him know you are here. Hey, uh, I saved you a secret. Ah, oh, merci. You are such the gentleman, Monsieur Mosley. Uh. But I am keeping my eye on you. You better not go back you know where and do you know what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> We are playing dumb, are we? You know I can wiggle it out of you. Well, <laughs> have some wine, Madeline. Hmm. Now there's a couple of women that don't seem to worry about their waistline. I, I really don't want to get stuck in a conversation with Lady Howard about how good or bad she thinks the wine is. Well, Abbe Arnaud has finally found something he likes better than his binoculars. Abbe Arnaud, what do you know about Chateau de Serres? Not much. It is an old estate that has been rebuilt. The current owner is a Monsieur Montreux. Do you know Monsieur Montreux well? No, unfortunately. Wonderful wine, Chateau de Serres, but very expensive, yes? It is not often within my budget to pay a visit. Oh, they're serving a little bread and cheese with the wine. Gee, if Madeline sat a little closer to the fire, we could see how flammable her hairspray is. That's the first time I've seen Bukele look relaxed. Uh, no. I'd rather not while Madeline is sitting right there. Well, Wilk seems to approve of the local wine. Then again, he'd probably approve of Muscatel. I think she has attention deficit syndrome. She can't stand not getting attention. I'd rather cut off my tongue, thanks. Ugh. You should come with a tag that says, insert finger here and proceed to wind. I don't think I could get his attention. I got better things to do anyway. That's Emilio Baza. I met him briefly last night. Oh my god, it sounds like a baby crying.
those doors must lead to the cellar. Oh, that sound seems to be coming from the cellar. <sighs> nope. Didn't think it would be that easy. I have got to try to get into that house somehow. I wonder what these symbols mean. I've never seen anything like it. It doesn't look like Hebrew, Greek, or Arabic, and it certainly isn't Oriental. could be the one from the train. Mademoiselle Boutin, how enchanting. Monsieur, surely you will join us for a drink and provide a bit of expertise on your wines, s'il vous plaît. Of course, at your service, mademoiselle. Oh my god, it's just a doll. <laughs> <laughs> 